just what happened there was Orag played the ball to the diagonal and Ning Ning played the ball with so much speed down the line, Hoa couldn't get there. It's now 3-2. Ning Ning to serve. Forehand topspin. And a backhand counter topspin from Orag goes into the net and he now leads 4-2. Both players allowed to towel down after six points, taking that opportunity. Even the coach is having a drink from Norway. Horag serves, backhand topspin. The forehand topspin, oh, and a miss there from Horag. Just, the ball didn't have a lot of spin on it and he just misread it and it went into the net. So it's now 4-3, Ning Ning clawing one point back and now trails 4-3. Horag serves, forehand heavy topspin, but he's just missed the ball. Probably just took it that bit later. Tried to get a bit more spin on the ball, but missed just misread it a bit and so it's now 4-all. Ning Ning to serve. Ning Ning serves. Forehand top. Forehand backspin with side spin that just goes into the net. From oh, Now China, um, Ning, China's Ning Ning leads 5-4. Forehand top spin. Oh, what a fantastic top spin from Oag. There's no way he's going to just just lie down he knows he's confident in his shots plays very strong backhand and forehand top spins all over the table he wheels back slowly to the table takes his time and composure Oreg serves forehand serves with lots of backspin on that ball but very quick came up to Ning Ning very quick and he couldn't handle the ball it's now 6-5 Oh, and again, just when when the ball goes into the area really close to the body, it's hard to get a ball out. So um, that point went to where Orhag now leads 7-5, nods his head in approval. Ning Ning comes to get the towel down and now goes back to the table, wipes his hand on his yellow and blue shirt. Sir's forehand. Horag returns and top spin from Horag again. And now he's away from the table. Very strong, three very strong top spins. And the last one, Ning Ning couldn't handle. Horag now in front, 8 5 in this second game. Ning Ning to serve. Ning Ning serves backhand. Oh, and he's just missed that again. Very, he played a backhand topspin with side spin but Horhag pushed the ball very quickly into his backhand and he missed the ball Horhag serves backhand backhand topspin um, it was sort of more on the forehand side but Horhag went across to try and topspin the ball and just meant away so he now leads 9-6 Backhand top spin serve. Big top spin. It's fantastic into Ning Ning's backhand. Now I've seen Ning Ning top spin that top spin before, but maybe he's just getting a bit nervous at this moment in time and tried to block the ball on to give himself a chance. But it's all right who takes the initiative. He's now got four game points. Forehand serve. And a punch from Hoag into the net. Now leads 10-7. And there it is, what a fantastic rally. Ning Ning played a topspin, but Orag played a backhand topspin in return. And the ball went off the end from uh, return from Ning Ning. Fantastic game from Horag. He knows he's in this game. It's the number one and number two players in the world. They will give no quarter. This match will be very hotly contested. Both players go back to their coaches and take some fluid on board and listen intensely to their coaches. Orhag wins that game 11-7. So it's game on. So as we wait third game, both players listen intensely to their coaches. 
Oh, Hagen in red shirt with the Norwegian flag on his on the right hand side of his shirt. Ning Ning in a yellow shirt with blue trim. And the Chinese flag on the left hand side of his shirt. Third game. Just to come. So, it's the third game, it's Horhag's serve. He'll be feeling more settled now, he's got a game under his belt. And he will serve. It's a backhand serve with topspin. And another topspin, and it's topspin to topspin on the backhand. And it's Horhag who comes out on top. That's absolutely fantastic. Both players taking the ball on the top of the bounce. But it's Horhag who wins the first point. He leads 1-0. Again. And again, oh, I waited for the top spin from Ning Ning that wasn't that strong and played it back with interest. And Ning Ning off the table. And now Ning Ning trails 2 0 in the third game after taking the first game 11 8. Third game, Ning Ning to serve. One, two. Great serve from Ning Ning. Just a bit of backspin on there that Oag didn't read. And again, Oag with a fantastic topspin return. Halfway up the court between the end of the table and the net. It's very difficult to get back because there's so much spin and it goes away from the table. He now leads 3-1. Serves into the medal. Top spin from Ning Ning, forehand top spin from, and, and that's fantastic from Ning Ning. That's what we, that's what we use from the world number one, playing strong shots backhand and forehand, and he wins that point, and now only trails three two. It's Horhag to serve. Backhand into the middle, A heavy forehand top spin, that's just gone off the end. He tried to spin that up with so much topspin to force Ning Ning to block the ball so he could get another shot in, but it's now three, three points all in this third game. Well, I'm served from... Oh, and he's just missed Ning Ning. Tried to spin that heavily right deep into um, onto the baseline of the table, but just misses. Oh, and again, oh, I tried to go for the top spin return off the side of the table, but on that occasion just missed, so it's now 4 all. This game is very, very close. Serve. Oh, and a great return there from Ohag, who, who forces Ning Ning to play a ball off the table because it was really into his body, very difficult to get out. Ohag changes tactics and moves to the forehand serve. That's a backhand top spin. And oh, and he's just played, a, just missed the ball, Ning Ning, and it's gone into the net. So now the Norwegian leads. 6-4. Oh, and again, that is fantastic play again from Orhag. An amazing shot. What happened there was... Orhag just played the ball with so much side spin and top spin. It went off the side of the table. And now leads 7-4 in the third game. on top spin down the line this time from Ning Ning which which pays dividends because Ohag was probably expecting it cross court it went down the line and he had to react quickly Ning Ning takes the towel 7-5 each player allowed to take a towel down at six points at every six points 
but it's Hohag who still lead 7-5 in this third game. Forehand heavy, and then a backhand. Oh, and it's just it clipped the net, and it just went off the table. Um, so now it's now 7-6. Norway 7, China 6. A great serve. A reverse serve with the forehand. And Rohan wins the point as the net as the ball clips the net and goes away. A lot of Norwegian support in the audience as, as there is a lot of Chinese support. Both players well supported. Oh, that's a fantastic shot from Ning Ning there. Similar to Rohan where the ball goes off the table with so much side spin and top spin. And again, oh, had putting pressure on the Ning Ning backhand. Played two very strong top spins. And on this occasion, he comes out on top and leads 9-7 in the third game. Oh, and he just, just missed a bit, Ning Ning there. Just missed clipping, missing the neck by two or three inches. So, Ohag, after being a game down, is now on the verge of being two, two games to love up. Backhand serve, very quick. A top spin, and that's it. He punches his air in delight as he takes the third game, 11-7. And after trailing one game to zero, he's now turned it around, and it's 2-1. Two, two, both players going back to their corners, taking some fluid on board, listening intently to their coaches. It's, um, it's a very intriguing match. Both players on top form. It's Ohag who takes a two games to one lead in this five-set match. And you can tell how much it means to the players when they're, they're fist-pumping points when they win them. It means they're, they're really keyed up and they're really in tune with what they're doing and they're celebrating their own successes. Celebrating their own It's now 2-1 to North he takes to the table Ning Ning just about to serve or had to receive it's a forehand serve oh, with backspin on it and it just who uh, just played it into the net so it's now 1-0 oh and what a fantastic reply both these players take the ball so early with a lot of spin that it's easy to misread the ball. In that case, when Ning Ning misread the ball, giving no Hag a point. Oh, and it's clipped the net, it's clipped the edge there, and Ning Ning put his hand up. Again, Hohag very strong on the, the backhand. Now to all. Ning Ning needing to win this game to take it into a fifth game. And a backhand topspin there from Ning Ning wins him the point and now leads 3 2. Oh, and again, Orhag has got the measure of this topspin from Ning Ning now. He's actually topspinning the topspin, which is a very difficult skill. But these pra players practice maybe 20 or 30 hours a week on this kind of thing. They, you know, they're, they're highly, uh, they're, their ability to play the ball is brilliant.
And again, nice top spins from Ming Ming Anouak, who now takes a four points to three lead in the third game. With one serve to come. Oak bounces the ball on the table and then wipes it in his, in his trouser shorts. Goes back to the table, bounces the ball on the table. It's going to serve forehand. Into the middle. And it's just gone away from Ning Ning there. It's 5-3 now to the Norwegian in, in the fourth game. And the Chinese coach calls a timeout. So as the Chinese Both team called timeout in the, the gold medal match, it's congratulations to Jung Yun Chai from the Republic of Korea, who wins the bronze medal, defeating France's Gregory Ruzek three games to zero. The gold medal He's match continues then. In timeout, the 60 match. seconds. And Coaches can give advice to the players before the players will be invited back to the table by the umpires. Advice from his coach. It's currently Tommy Urhag who leads. Two games to one. The fourth game, very close at 5 3. So if you get back to the timeout, it's Urhag who leads. 5-3 in the fourth game. Ning Ning to serve. The noise you can hear is for the players from the bronze medal match that have just finished. And they're being celebrated by this appreciative crowd as they go out of the arena. But our focus is on this gold medal match. Ning Ning to serve. Just settling himself while the crowd dow down. It's a forehand serve into the middle. And that's a great serve with backspin. Ning Ning reduces the deficit to 5-4. A top spin. Oh, and oh, I just, instead of going cross court there, he tried to go down the line. And he's just missed, but it's a great tactic because he doesn't want Ning Ning to get used to his game. So it's now 5-all in the fourth game. Backhand serve from. Heavy top spin there from Huang. What happened there? He played a few balls that were really lower than that, and then he tossed one up a bit higher, right into the body of Ning Ning, and that's the that's the ball that won him the point. Ning Ning, in disgust, turns away, but it's Huang who leaves six games to five. It's another backhand top spin. And there you go, Hohag. Seven points to five in this fourth game. And he wheels back to the table. Just wheels away while Ning Ning goes to his towel. Each player allowed to towel down after every six points. Chinese coaches and players look on. Ning Ning, five, seven down. Forehand top spin, and then there's a backhand, backhand from it's a backhand again. Oh, and he's just great rally there. Lots of pressure being put on by Ning Ning, and Ohag just succumbed to that pressure, missing the ball. It's now 7 6. Ning Ning bounces the ball on his back, prepared to serve. Just practices a forehand and a backhand. Now he's going to do a backhand serve, and it's into the middle. Oh, top spin to top spin on the backhand. Another top spin and a back. And that's the point that that's the oh, wins that point. Forehand's being sprayed into the middle and wide. And then it's the backhand that wins for Hag with the Norwegian section of this crowd going bananas as he wins that point. It's 8 6 as he gets closer to the, the end of the fourth game. Both players playing well. That's a great. Backhand serve with a lot of backspin and side spin, and Ning Ning misread it. He wheels away from the table. He hasn't got any more timeouts left. So what players do is they'll try and do anything to sort of slow the play down. Ohag looks really focused. He wheels away from the table. He wheels back into the table. 
He's now serving. It's into the middle. A lot of side spin. Oh, and he's just just tucked up there by Ning Ning. He played the ball so that oh, I couldn't get a proper shot in. He's just played it into the net. So it's 9-9-7. Nine, nine, Ning Ning to serve. And again, oh, I misread that. Oh, I misread on that serve with side spin. Just failing to lift it. It's 9-8. Evenly poised in this fourth game. It's a forehand into the middle. Top spin. Oh, and that's the one that wins it. A great topspin off the side by Hohag. It takes a 10-8 lead. It's now game point, match point to Tommy Hohag from Norway. And he's a wheels away, he takes his composure, wipes his hand on the table, wheels away again. Both players just shaking their hands just to try and relax. It's Hohag who's got the serve. He leads 2-1. Now you can hear clapping in the crowd as they get impatient for the point to go on. Hohag. Serves backhand into the middle. It's a top spin. And a fantastic ball from Ning Ning. That ball was travelling at 80, 90 miles an hour. And it was just very, very quick. And he shouts in delight. He's 10-9 down in this fourth game. He's not going to give this game up easily. It's Hohagel's going to have to win it. Because both players are now really focused on this point. Oh, and that's it. Hohag wins. 3-1. Three games to one. Tommy Hoher from Norway shakes the hand of Ning Ning. But he is the Class 5 Paralympic champion in London 2012. He goes and shakes the hand of the Chinese coach. He's finally become the Olympic champion. The Ladies Paralympic and champion boys and girls, it's congratulations Shake to Norway, Tommy Hoher. Who takes gold in class five, winning 3-1 against China's Chao Ningning, who takes the silver. And again, the bronze was...